see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. From the signs to the hats to the jersey, I'm in. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. Uh, you know what it is, you don't even need a clue. Throw it what up? Welcome back to my channel, Packer Fans for Life. It's your boy, Big Nate. Let's get it. I'm back with another video. But before I get these videos started, shout out to the whole Pack Attack, the Woo Pack, AJ, Packer Fan in Vegas, Higher Point of UK, TV, and a future member of the Pack Attack, TR. What up, gentlemen? Much love and respect to y'all. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, let's make it happen. Turn on your notification bell so every time I upload a new video, a short, or I go live on StreamYard, you can notify. With that being said, you know the business. Let's get to it. So first thing first, I'm back. As you guys know, your boy Big Day was under the weather. I'm back. I'm feeling, feeling a lot better than I, I was feeling. Nothing serious, but I'm good. Also, I'm going stream yard later on tonight at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. So you're in the East Coast. So most likely it will be about 10.30 your time. So make sure to tune in later on today. You know, we're going to be catching up a little bit of football news, Packers. We can talk about football, you know, and just hang around. So and with that in mind, let's get to it. So this video is a prediction video of who I think the Packers are going to keep at wide receiver. And also, who do I think out of these seven receivers are going to be making noise this upcoming season. Oh, so let's get started. So I think the Packers will keep seven wide receivers. I know that TR just posted a short a little while ago about who, who do we think the Packers going to keep at wide receiver. So I want to collaborate more on this. So I think the Packers are going to keep seven wide receivers. I think there's going to be Randall Cobb, you know, having the presence of a veteran that's been with the Green Bay Packers for a long, long time. And even though he left to Houston, that he was able to come back. I think that Randall Cobb, he's already past his prime. You know, he's still good, but I think just having a presence of a veteran to, you know, to teach these young bucks, I think that he will have a good a good season, not an explosive season, but I think that he will have a good season. I also feel that uh, the Packers will keep Alan Lazar. There's a lot of stuff in the air that he might head out to, uh, to Denver. That's just uh, people speculating that he might end up you know, uh, signing over there eventually. So, Alan Lazar, he has done good for the Packers for the last couple of years. You know, he has his up downs, and sometimes he has dropped a lot of uh, passes, especially crucial passes. So, I think that Alan Lazar will have an all right year, nothing explosive. Nothing that we're gonna be like, damn, he did he stink this year. I just I just think that he will have a good year, an average year. But I see him leaving the Packers this next upcoming uh, next year. I think that he will end up in Denver. So that's that's just my opinion. I also think that Sammy Watkins, we all know that Sammy Watkins got picked up last year. He played for the Baltimore Ravens. He did okay. I think the Packers will keep Sammy Watkins, and I think that Sammy Watkins will have a good year. I think that for him, being in Green Bay, it's like a proven deal, and I think that he will show that he still can be that wide receiver. You know, probably he's not as dynamic as he was when he was drafted by the Buffalo Bills. You know, it's been a couple years now. You know, he's getting older. I mean, he's still 28, 29. He's still young. But I think that he will have a, a good year. And he will show in the end that he will prove the NFL that he can still be that wide receiver. So I think that Sammy Watkins will have a productive year this year. Omari Rodgers, as some of you guys know, he's on year two. 
I think that with all these vids that he posted on YouTube, him working out, and everything that's been coming out of the Packers uh, 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 apps and uh, uh, and stuff that he's he looks faster on the OTAs. He looks good, and he even said that he's ready to go. He wants to be number one at everything. Well, Omari Rogers, it's time to you know put up and shut up. You know, go out there. You know, if you're gonna fucking talk all this smack, well, I'm not saying smack, but if you're gonna go out there and talk all this stuff about you ready to go, you want to be a number one wide receiver, everything, you want to be a number one everything, well, it is time for you to back it up. Let's hope that this year you can show that on year two that you can beat that guy. So I got Omari Rogers staying with the Packers, making the team, and him having a productive year this year, especially, especially him coming out of Clemson. I know Clemson is a good college, and I, I think that he, he hasn't reached his potential yet, but I think he'll show some type of potential this year, and I think that he will have a good year. To, uh, he will have a good year this season. We all know one of the best, one of the guys that I've been wanting to see in action already, my man, Tristan Watson. I'm excited about this wide receiver. Especially the OTAs and everything coming out of the, the news that this young man, he can do it all. He is advertised as when before, before he even got drafted, what type of receiver he will be. Especially whatever team picked, whatever team drafted him, that he was going to show what type of player he is since day one. And I think that the Packers... They have a dynamic wide receiver. And like I've said it before, he reminds me of Jordy Nelson. Some people might think different, but I think he's just as explosive and fast as Jordy Nelson. Some of you guys have watched Jordy Nelson play before he retired with the Green Bay Packers. This man, they didn't call him white lightning for nothing. This, this, uh, Jordy Nelson, he was able to do it all. He can burn. He was a burner. He can catch. He can catch critical passes. He was always open and making big catches. So I think that Christian Watson will be that guy. And I am expecting for Christian Watson to have a great year and show everybody in the NFL early why he got drafted by the Packers. I think Aaron Rodgers, he's licking his fingers right now. He's ready to go to action. And I can't wait to see that duo. Evan Rogers, Evan Rogers to Watson. That's gonna be badass. So I got Chris Watson having a good year. So Maury Torrey from Nebraska. I think the Packers are gonna keep him. I don't think that he will start right away, but I honestly feel that if given the opportunity to play to get in the game and play a couple snaps or even Get in the game if somebody goes if somebody goes down with the injury. I think the Samori Tori will have an impact on these offense. Some of you guys might think different, but I honestly feel that given the opportunity to go out there and shine and his number is called, I think that Samori Tori will show the NFL that he belongs in the NFL and he will show what the potential that he has. So this is just my prediction to all you guys are following me and the support of my channel. You guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these seven receivers that I feel that the Packers will keep and will make the team. You guys let me know in the comments who do you guys think the Packers will keep as will they keep all these seven receivers? Do you have a different opinion? This is just my prediction who the Packers will keep and my prediction who I think out of these seven receivers who is going to be shining this year. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. With that being said, don't forget to share, like, comment, and support my channel. And with that being said, your boy Big Nate is out. Repping my town when you 
you see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. From the signs to the hats to the jersey, I'm in. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow.